he loses so many uh, people that are, you know, either no longer interested in him or they'll vote for him, but they're, they're depressed about it. Well, to make that point, enthusiasm gap, the new Gallup poll ends, finds the Republicans have a major advantage here over the Democrats. Just 45% of Democrats say they're more enthusiastic about voting in 2012 than they were in earlier elections. What they look for in a president is someone with strength, someone who's going to lead, someone who has a backbone. <laughs> so they like Franklin Roosevelt, uh, they like John Kennedy, they like Ronald Reagan. It sometimes doesn't really matter what the party is, as long as they believe they have a strong leader. What they've witnessed with President Obama is a president who seems to not to have had much of a backbone, who hasn't really come in there uh, with the understanding that he had a 10 million vote margin over John McCain, a mandate from the American people to get busy and do some things, especially in those first two years before the Republicans had the House. Uh, so I just I think that that's really where the discussion should take place of getting uh, President Obama uh, to go back to being the centrist president he, he ran as with the positions that he had of of ending these wars, uh, taxing the rich, and if, if people sense that he is going to act on their behalf, not just give a speech, but actually act on their behalf in this last year that he has, uh, then he has an. an not a political guy you're a point of view guy about activism and values but what would you like to hear the president say you personally for the next uh, year or so as he runs for re-election what do you want to hear i don't want to hear anything i want to i want i want to see action okay. i want to see him i want him immediately to start doing a number of things he's turned back the he's rolled back the air pollution standards to where they're now worse than under george w bush he needs to support his own epa and do that he needs to end these wars immediately he needs to bring the troops home he needs to push for uh, his justice department needs to investigate the people who crashed this economy uh, back in 2008 and we need to see a perp walk we need to see some bankers and some wall street people arrested who played with and lost the money of millions of americans though he needs to be a doer in in the last, uh, you know, he's just like he's playing a, he's played the first three quarters of this football game. Some of the times he's literally ran the wrong way. Now it seems like he's coming alive in the fourth quarter, which is great. Uh, now, now he's got to really go for it. And he's got to, he can do a number of things, even he can, without the House on his side. There are presidential directives and things that he can do, things that he controls. If he does those things, he will get people.